सो टू समराइज वॉटर शेड इज बेसिकली ए टोपोग्राफिकल डेलिनेटेड एरिया दैट इज ड्रेन बाय स्ट्रीम सिस्टीम्स दैट यू कैन सी वॉटर शेड इज जनरली रिप्रेजेंटेड टिपिकली बाय दिस फिगर विच इज हैविंग रीच Uh, and some different routes and major streams and whatever the precipitation falling on this uh, watershed area is transformed into runoff and finally it will uh, it will join into a uh, river uh, and uh, this particular river is considered as the what outlet of this particular uh, watershed so watershed is again a area uh, is area that forms uh, from the runoff and resulting from the precipitation um uh, as uh, shown in this figure and the precipitation uh, uh, that forms uh, streams as well as lakes uh, so the water falling on the watershed as a preci precipitation it can be a rainfall or a snowfall uh, which drains from the surrounding regions to a common point uh, such as lakes or streams so uh, as you can see in this particular figure uh, whatever the geographical area that is considered in this watershed uh, which is delineated by the divide line uh, and uh, this particular watershed is bounded by this particular region but uh, this is again surrounded by another watershed uh, so whenever we consider a uh, watershed and its divide line it shares its boundaries with neighboring Uh, watersheds uh, uh, so we are separating different watersheds uh, as a scientific units uh, for uh, various resource management uh, that we are going to uh, consider uh, <clears throat> now uh, let's uh, discuss about the uh, concept uh, now discuss about the watershed characteristics so as far as uh, when we have to uh, uh, study different resources within the uh, watershed all these characteristics are very important so understanding of these characteristics uh, of a particular watershed or any watershed is uh, important <coughs> so in uh, watershed as i have mentioned that in uh, watershed management uh, to understand the basic characteristics of watersheds uh, is Uh, important uh, so different watershed uh, management practices depends on the characteristics <clears throat> so let's uh, begin with the uh, important some of the important characteristics so what is size what is the size of a watershed uh, so this is the list of some important so this is the list of some important watershed characteristics like size shape physiography slope climate drainage land use vegetation cover geology and soil hydrology hydrogeology and socio economics of that watershed so now we will see one by one uh, uh, some of the important uh, watershed characteristics <coughs> so size size means uh, the watershed can be a larger or a smaller watershed as here it is shown that uh, the watershed which is a small watershed which is part of a bigger watershed then uh, shape can be a different shapes dep depending on the topography it can be elongated or a circular uh, or a um, uh, 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 rectangular so di di different sorts of uh, uh, watershed shapes depending on the topography uh, now uh, what is the physiography so physiography is nothing but uh, the geography of a particular area uh, if you uh, see this particular uh, 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 watershed uh, so depending on, on how the land is changing whether uh, the watershed is considered having uh, having hills or a plain area so uh, how much is the slope within the watershed depending on the watershed management techniques will be adopted or whether it is uh, having a plain area more of a plain area than a hilly or a uh, hilly area then uh, how much is the plain area within the watershed depending on that the watershed management techniques will be uh, adopted so physiography is basically how much 
slope or how much is the plain area within the uh, watershed. Then the next important uh, uh, characteristics of the watershed is climate. So, <coughs> Uh, uh, as far as uh, uh, the climate is considered, as we are discussing earlier, uh, the various resources uh, within the watershed. Uh, so, one of the important uh, resource is water. So, climate issues like um, uh, rainfall pattern within the watershed or how much is the uh, temperature uh, and how the temperature pattern is changing. Uh, so, rainfall <coughs> and then uh, the corresponding runoff. Uh, so, depending on the uh, change in pattern in rainfall, the runoff pattern will also change. So, uh, how much is the temperature uh, change in temperature pattern that will also affect the uh, pattern rainfall pattern precipitation pattern within the uh, watershed. So, these uh, all aspects related with the climate that is temperature and uh, yeah. Uh, precipitation that will derive the pattern of runoff uh, within the uh, <coughs> uh, watershed. Then the next important characteristics is uh, drainage, drainage systems. Uh, so, uh, if you see in this particular uh, figure, uh, so uh, which uh, represents different stream orders uh, within a watershed. So, uh, when we consider when we are considering a watershed, uh, uh, within a watershed when rainfall occurs, uh, then uh, uh, it will uh, it will fall on a watershed and through runoff uh, and depending on the topography, different streams will be formed within a uh, watershed. So, all these channels uh, uh, are uh, uh, part of the drainage systems, uh, they are uh, they are very important factor uh, of a uh, watershed because uh, whatever the watershed management techniques we are going to learn uh, in uh, uh, during the course of uh, this course, uh, they uh, they are related with these important characteristics of the uh, watershed. <coughs> now, uh, uh, let us move to the next important characteristic that is the land use. So, uh, land use is uh, uh, within a watershed how we are using the available land for different uh, uh, purposes. Uh, depending on that, the man management activities will also uh, be uh, conducted. So, uh, the resources uh, like the agriculture practices and um, uh, the industrial usage and the land which is being used for different uh, purposes and how much percentage of land is used for different purpose. Uh, that is also important uh, uh, as far as the uh, uh, watershed management practices are uh, considered. <coughs> then uh, the next uh, characteristics is uh, vegetation. Uh, this is also very important characteristic of uh, watershed. So, uh, how much is the vegetation cover? Uh, within the uh, watershed. So, how much is the forest area, how much is the uh, agriculture area uh, uh, that plays a very important role uh, in the management practices uh, of uh, the watershed. And then the next important uh, uh, characteristics is uh, geology and uh, the soil. So, if you see uh, whatever, what is the depth of soil available within the watershed. Uh, that will also determine various other uh, parameters like soil moisture. Uh, then, how uh, what is the geology of particular uh, area? That also determines how, what is the infiltration rate uh, uh, and how much ground water will be available within the watershed. So, that is an important uh, another important characteristics. <coughs> uh, next is hydrology. As we were discussing in uh, uh, the beginning of our uh, session, hydrology is nothing but uh, uh, whatever the precipitation that is occurring uh, and what, uh, depending on that uh, whatever the runoff uh, uh, is uh, uh, taking place uh, within the watershed. Uh, so, uh, hydrology of the watershed is very important uh, as far as considered uh, as the rainfall as well as the runoff and surface water which is available within the watershed. 
and <coughs> next important point is hydrogeology so depending on the geology geological features of the watershed that will determine how much is the ground water available uh, within within the uh, watershed so uh, whatever the hydrogeological features uh, and its characteristics of uh, within the watershed that will determine uh, the availability of ground water the nature of ground water uh, in the uh, watershed then the next important characteristics is uh, the socio economics uh, <coughs> of the watershed so for the holistic development of any watershed and any area that we are considering uh, we have to see what are the socio economics of the people which are living within the watershed so uh, we have to study the details how is the socio economics of the uh, watershed what are the livelihood um, uh, options which are available uh, for the people what 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 current practices they are, they they are uh, doing uh, and that <coughs> whatever the watershed we are considering for the watershed management uh, this um, socio economic aspect is one of the uh, important aspect or one of the important characteristics of uh, watershed so we have discussed different uh, various uh, watershed characteristics now uh, moving on now we will see different uh, uh, watershed approaches 